Hi, uh, this is Blunt Cut Metalworks, um, June 3, 2016, and uh, today, well, let me get a rambling on a little bit. Uh, CPM 3V is known to be have a high toughness, but never really anybody tested it at very high hardness. And this blade here, my first time actually making the blade this hard and at and 65 Rockwell. And the uh, sharpening angle is uh, 15 degree per se. And uh, the bevel, the thickness here got a vary from 25,000 to 15,000 to 14,000 of an inch thick. So, which is where the uh, little dot right here indicate that is where the shoulder of the sharpening bevel. And overall, length is seven and a half inch long. I mark with the marker here so I know where I chop. And uh, got a very fancy handle, I mean, three bolt, cherry wood, very well sculpted. So if you like your knife handle for a modest price of a few hundred dollars, I can do it exactly like this for you. Okay, that was a joke. And to start out, it's, the, it's reasonably sharp. There is simply catch there. But again, I mean, I, you will see that this blade is, is not... Uh, so, it's sliding. You can slide the uh, phone book at, uh, you know, this guy to 30 or 40 or something. It can be 45, okay? this now and uh, well for again for a good point of reference or perspective I uh, say a chef knife very delicate chef knife can be like 64 Rockwell and so this is 65 Rockwell and this is my new setup so I'm not sure how it work out but also I'm gonna hear you the Choi here you can see the actual I don't think anyway it then so the penetration got to be pretty high despite of it it's not uh, thick mass but I mean, this is pretty good solid handle sorry I mean get uh, to show you when I, mean, I try to make this also documented for myself because uh, this steel usually you know, mostly expensive and if I go to make a big chip out of it I want to be able to frame by frame and see what I did wrong and so I start out with topping uh, this is Douglas fur get dry light chop and well the ink come out right here so most of my strike is going to be about right there. So anyway, so I mean, touch the uh, the uh, two by four a little bit, and I'm going to touch. There's some oak board here, and so and it's somewhere right here. So. So a lot of time when you know when you're doing the chopping test, people start slicing a uh, phone book. They actually start where it's sharp and end where it's sharp in the middle. And if they do really quick like this, and you wouldn't see if the edge is damaged or not. So I think it looked fine. And uh, well, I got a two by four here, got a long. So I'm going to. I'm going to do it into two pieces so I can... Okay. I'm selecting there is a knot right here. And this pin knot, it actually, your blade on the sharp wood, or regular wood here, is softer so they enter and go at one direction. But when you hit, hit the pin knot, the knot steer the edge to another direction. So you could end up with damage. So, for the blade this hard, if they are steering and they are bending, 
you could end up with big chips so that's why I'm talking a lot and I'm going to uh, cut Quite a bit of biting. If you cut, if you cut the blade, it's thin and uncomfortable. Right now, so I guess this little thing here eaten to my palm. So I did pretty much go through that knot. So I want to see. I'm going to cheat and turn it around because I'm exhausted. <laughs> All right. What do you think, huh? Okay. A little knot. And it's not very comfortable at all. Let's check uh, for damage, I think. Let me... Okay. Obvious stray zone right there. So, I will initiate the uh, front book cut here, and then I'm going to slow through this section. This is not matter because it didn't get used. Well, you will catch. Okay, catch now. Now I'm going to go slow to the impact area, and now to go past the impact area. So the impact area right there. So, it didn't catch. That means there are no chips. It could be very small microchip that you have to be, I mean, within, so you have to be less than, uh, uh, say, five micron or something like that. That's why they don't catch. Bigger than that, it will catch the, uh, the paper. So, what next? I'm going to hex, I'm going to chop until well, it's kind of painful, so I won't do much. Let me see. It's still very solid. Okay. This is the some pie. Got a twisty. And it's substantial. But there's no knot on this thing, except for one right here. Uh, maybe I chop at it a little bit. And see, uh, I got a hesitant there because uh, am I going to end this blade here or not? Harder than that. that was for two by four. I don't want to go tall my hand this way, so okay. I will stand up. Hopefully, you can see it. If it didn't damage by now, and my hand is unpleasant, all right, let's uh, clean it and check. There are a lot of pollen in the air. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, right here. I'm sure I chopped more here. Uh, down here. See that clean. Okay. And I will initiate 
this is the heel, it don't matter. Now the enter, now I'm going to draw to the the uh, affected or the new test area. So they went through the test area, and if I mean, if I do it quick, then it wouldn't catch him. Wouldn't do much if you do it like this. Then of course it sounds awesome, but it's not. You want to go slow. All right. So it sounds like a you. You have to break it a little to know what it's capable of. So I'm going to do, I'm not sure I'm going to break it a little, but this is the, some broomstick and thin metal, I did this on that before, and uh, let me flatten, pretty flatten, so I can go right to it, one, kind of flatten, and one right there, okay, well if I hit this thing and it mess up, then I stop. I don't want to damn it. But again, this is very thin. This is 15 degree per side. And if you are 20 degree per side, that is, let me, I forgot the calculation, but uh, it's about two and a half times more stiffness of strength by volume. So, big difference between this and also the, 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 the thickness behind the edge also. So, it, it's really substantial, I mean, compared to uh, other more thicker geometry blade. I'm going to chop again the same area here. Okay, okay, right here. Okay. All right. Ooh, I see something. Okay, I can show you the actual it's not a chip. It's just too thin. You see right there? I call it a ripple. I think I didn't chop very well. I think it was a little sideways or something. When something this hard, when it bends like this, I mean, I can sharpen it out with loose little... You can treat it like a chip. Because you can't just pin it back. It's not going to work too well. Because these these uh well these only about three percent carbide by volume but however it doesn't behave that way when it's harder so you're going to lose a little bit of the edge and uh, but that is for but since i got that i still want to look for a chip because remember 65 it's supposed to be like glass i did temper this one down a little bit from uh, at quench so I'm going to strike this area as I'm saying I'm looking for some damage and I did now I'm going to do this one Oop, I think it jumped over to Okay, this one I think end up with also a ripple and maybe it could be something. I hit it right here and I think they have a tiny, tiny ripple right here and, and I can feel something right here. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, that was a big ripple, and this is the one, so I'm going to put it well on my finger. Okay, hopefully it's zoom. I, it, the camera is too tall for me, so I'm not sure I can. All right, you can see. Um, this blade survived. And of course, this is the you know, video, and whether in 3V or some you know, 1075, you don't know. But... Uh, I got similar blade, I mean, in terms of chopper, Makata D2, also 65. And today I, I plan to do uh, ABL at about 64. 
and spectrum wear, just similar to Z-Wear or Cruise Wear and PD-1, number one. But I did a lousy job grinding. It took forever to grind this blade, so I only able to do one blade. All right, thanks for watching and comments.